Now, we need to count on in tens from a three-digit number. So here, we start with 157. So that's 100, 5 tens, and 7 ones. Because we're counting in tens, we're adding one ten each time. So if we add another ten, that gives us 167, 177, 187, 197. But then, if we add another 10, that gives us 207. That's because we now have 10 tens. And when we get 10 tens, we always regroup those tens into 100. So that means that we now have two hundreds, no tens, and seven ones, so two hundred and seven. Notice, because we're adding tens, our ones digit is staying the same, so our ones digit is always a seven. But if we ignore our ones digit, we can see that we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, counting on in tens from a three-digit number is just like counting on in ones, but then with our ones digit staying the same. So now, if we keep on adding tens, we get 217, 227, 237, 247. Now, we start with 539. So that's five hundreds, three tens, and nine ones. We're counting in tens, so if we add a tens block each time, we have five hundred and forty nine, five hundred and fifty nine, five hundred and sixty nine, five hundred and seventy nine, five hundred and eighty nine, five hundred and ninety nine. So that's five hundreds, nine tens, and nine ones. But if we add another tens block, we get 609. That's because we now have 10 tens. So we exchange those 10 tens for one extra hundred. And that means that we have six hundreds, no tens, and of course, we still have nine ones. So if we know that one more than 59 is 60, if we only look at the first two digits, we have 59 and then 60. But that means that 10 more than 599 is 609. So then we get 619, 629. We can also show the counting using place value counters. So first we started with 157. So 100, 5 tens, and 7 ones. Because we're counting in tens, we can add tens counters each time. But then, you can see that when we get ten tens, when we have ten tens counters, we need to exchange those for one hundreds counters. So that's why, after 197, we get 207. And then, we can keep on adding tens counters until we reach 247. Then we started with 539, so there's 500s, 3 tens, and 9 ones. Counting in tens means that we're adding a tens counter each time. So now we have 599, but if we add another tens counter, because we have 10 tens, we need to exchange those for an extra hundred. So that's why 10 more than 599 is 609, because now we have 600s and no 10s, and of course we still have our 9 ones. Then we keep on adding 10s counters until we get to 629.